Hello, I'm Luke Franks, and this little cutie is Goose. He's a staffy, and he's my B.I. pet. <laughs> This is VI Pets, where we meet pedigree personalities and their BFFs, busy furry friends. I'm Jessie Ogunagwaki, and our pet pals right here, right now, are TV and radio presenter and lifestyle influencer, Luke Frank. Hey, hello. And his Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Goose. Yes, here he is. Right, How Goose. are you, Goose? He's good. He's very excited to be here. A little bit confused. He's not quite sure what's happening, but he's having a good time. I understand. But he's yeah. a star of the show. He is, yeah. He looks like he's having a right time. He's getting a belly scratch, so he's loving it. So you have a pet dog that you have named Goose. Yes. How did that happen? Uh, yeah, fair enough question. Um, mainly just because he is the colour of a goose. Um, he's white like a goose, and that's pretty much it. I'd love to say there was a bigger story, but... Yeah, that's... not in the way that he walks, or... No, no. Uh, doesn't waddle, doesn't have a beak, doesn't quack. Uh, do geese quack? Don't know, I don't know. They do now. <laughs> they do now. <laughs> but yeah, just because he's white like a goose. And how did you first meet Goose? Well, my girlfriend bought him online for £100 from nice. someone who didn't want him anymore, oh. which is very sad. And he couldn't want Goose. I know, look at him. And he'd never been on a walk before. So um, we took him on his oh. first walk and now he's very happy Goose. And how old is Goose? Goose is almost three. Uh, we're having a Bow Wow ball for his birthday with all of his mates. So that's going to be a big day. Get uh, together, yeah. dress up. Yeah, well, yeah. You actually like dressing Goose up, Well, don't you? not too much. He's got a hoodie, basically. He's got a jumper. I've got a matching jumper that goes okay. with it. So I don't, don't like to dress him up you know, anything too silly, but if he, get, he can get a bit cold in the winter, so a jumper's quite good for him. Does Goose have any annoying habits? Yes, yeah, sometimes um, he will do a little fart and then he'll pretend it wasn't him. So he'll like, uh, he'll do it and then he'll look around and then he'll be like, oh, <laughs> I don't know how that got there. And are they smelly farts? Um, they are pongy farts, yeah. yeah. Confirmed sort of nine out of 10 on the scale, the pongometer scale, um, they're pretty bad, yeah. And what is Goose like with other animals? He's good, yeah. He, he loves other dogs. He has to say hello to literally every single dog. Um, some of them are happy to see them, some less so. And he's met quite a lot of other animals because he went to a farm, so he's met pigs. Lovely. Yeah, and he like put his nose up against the pigs, um, which is good. They seem to be friends. I feel like um, he'd get on with pigs, considering getting a pig for his brother or sister to live oh, in the house. I could totally see. I think Goose might belong to the pig family. Maybe. Maybe in some way, Who shape knows? or form. He makes noises like a pig sometimes. Uh, and we took him to an animal park where you can like take your dog around. Yep, it was a good time, wasn't it? Do you remember? Yeah. And he <laughs> met a giraffe. Um, he wasn't actually that interested in the giraffe, which was weird. Uh, and then he went to the penguin-like enclosure and he was on the side looking at the penguins like swimming about. And then he tried to jump into the penguin enclosure. <laughs> <laughs> He wanted to get involved with that penguin, say yeah. hello. We thankfully caught him just before he sort of unleashed, you know, swimming yeah. terror. Does Geese have any special skills? Yeah, he's got a, he's got a few tricks. Do you want to show everyone? I don't think he's so. He's pretty keen to yeah. uh, do that. <laughs> so energetic. Let's try. Sit up then. Up, up, up. Up, up. <laughs> Lie down. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good trick. Yeah. Sit. And, yep, yeah, roll over. Well done. Good. Um, up then. Sit. Good boy. And paw. Paw. Oh, oh that's so good. good boy. And maybe spin. Oh, oh go on, good Goose. boy. Do you have a daily routine? It's pretty stressful, as you can see. <laughs> so you've actually very kindly shot a video diary for us. Yes. A doggy vlog. Yep. So now we get to see what life is like together with Luke and Goose. Hello, good morning. Um, so I'm just in the car because we are setting off on a little adventure today with Goose. There he is. He is waiting for mum to come back, so looking out the window. Why are you crying? It's okay, she's coming back. Um, but yeah, I'm taking my girlfriend on a little trip for her birthday. Goose is coming with us, and he's wearing a hoodie today because it's a little bit colder. Uh, so yeah, come with us and I'll show you what we get up to today. Here we are then, today at the Golden Retriever Experience. There are just loads of Golden Retrievers. And Goose is having a lovely time, just on his own for the minute, just having some alone time, whilst we hang out with um, all these dogs. <laughs> um, so I'm just at home with Goose. Here he is. I'm going to show you some tricks that Goose can do. So if you're ready, Goose, um, can you spin? Ah, oh, good boy. There you go. 
and high five. Good boy, other one. Oh, good boy, there you go. Can you go in your bed? No, that's a spin, isn't it? In your bed? There you go, good boy. Nice. Well done. He has his little toy, um, which is a pheasant. There he is, like that. Domestic dogs like geese evolved from a creature often seen as one of our oldest rivals, Canis lupus, or the grey wolf. With bone-crushing jaws and a nose to sniff out prey, these predators competed with our prehistoric ancestors at the top of the food chain. But it's thought that over time, wolves without a pack found new opportunities in human camps, feeding on leftovers. And the wolves that were less aggressive were more likely to survive around people like us. Over tens of thousands of years, their similar social structure made it easy to integrate with human families and even learn to understand our commands. Fast forward to England in the 1800s, where the British Bulldog is bred with the Terrier for hunting and dog fighting sports that were made illegal. It's thought that in the Midlands, near a county called Staffordshire, this Bull Terrier was then deliberately crossbred further with other dogs. Arriving at the breed that was finally recognised by the Kennel Club in the UK, Staffies are known for their muscular bodies, which make them look tough, but they are also loving, brave and loyal family dogs. Geese, you deserve a belly rub. Yes, you do deserve a belly rub. Good boy. Um, yeah, he's not really a sort of predator at the top of the food chain. He's, no. He's not very dangerous at all. He's scared of uh, balloons, actually, so... Uh, Is he? What kind? Any? All balloons. Yeah, he hates them. It's not very terrifying. Oh, he's very friendly. He's lovely. Now we find out what Luke thinks his pet has to say about him. All in the time that it takes to draw your best picture of geese. All right. I'm up for it. But Are you ready? Yeah, terrible drawer, so good luck everyone, but I'm ready. This <laughs> is my pad. Yeah, and Geese, are you ready? Yes, all right, yes, ready when you are. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, fire away, Jesse. Okay, hmm. it's time for the VIP pet portrait. Yes. So, Geese, what do you think about Luke? Oh, yeah, no, Luke's uh, yeah, he's a, he's a really handsome guy. What a nice guy. Um, very friendly, uh, he's, got, he's got great hair, <laughs> and um, yeah, he's, well, he's probably my favourite person. What of? And how did you feel when you saw Luke for the first time? Oh, uh, what a moment that was. Yeah, no, I remember it really, really well, actually. Uh, yes, I saw him there, he smelled delicious, uh, had a little <laughs> smell of his knees, and uh, then after that, yeah, I thought, wow, well, he's a friendly, nice guy, so I thought we'd probably hang out and be best friends. And we what is your favourite quality about Luke? Well, one of my favourite things about Luke is if, if I look at him uh, whilst he's having his dinner and I look at him long enough and I just keep staring at him, eventually he'll just give me whatever he's got on his plate. So um, I think that's pretty a uh, pretty nice thing. He's a really James Rube, generous guy. And what does Luke like to eat for dinner? Luke will have anything, really. He's not particularly fussy. Um, he like, sometimes has some vegetables, which I don't go anywhere near. But um, apart from that, uh, whatever's on his plate, he'll eat. And then sometimes I'll get it afterwards. Ah. <laughs> Is Luke a messy eater? Yes, not so much a messy eater, really. Um, oh, I've had something on my paw here. What? That smells nice. What was the question? Messy eater. <laughs> ah, yes, no, uh, he's a messy eater. Not really. He he leaves a lot of food on the plate, and sometimes he'll just occasionally put it in the bin, which is annoying for me because uh, that could be food that I could have, and I think it's a little bit, it can be a bit wasteful. Why won't he give that to me, you know? And what is the worst thing, would you say, about living with Luke? Oh, uh, well, he's a terrible drawer, which you uh, <laughs> Imagine you'll find out in just a second. Um, but also, occasionally he'll um, he'll do a little fart and then blame it on me, which I think's like really, really unfair because uh, I don't really ever do that. Uh, so yeah, I think that's a little bit rude. Apart from that, real stand-up guy. Luke, how is your drawing going? Um, I'm embarrassed by it. If I'm honest, <laughs> Jesse, I think uh, my art teacher at school would um, yeah be disappointed in me. Cause <laughs> it's, uh, it's about, about four out of ten, I'd say. So I think it's time that you reveal the VO pet portrait. Is it? Are you ready? Um, not really. Is there any way I can not show you or...? It's not a possibility. It's not a possibility. <laughs> we need to see it. Right. Yeah, brace yourself. Goose, are you ready? Oh, I suppose, yes. I'm re ready as I'll ever be. Hopefully he's captured me, um, as I would imagine too. Right, on that note, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, check it out. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's um, amazing. He's offended, so he's left. Because uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it does look like a combination of you and Goose. Which some people would say 
that's what I was trying to do. Well, I think Geese is super happy with it. I'm yeah. um, so happy that he's let one off. He's done a little fart, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah. That's his review of it. A little so, one. Oh, yeah. it's quite a big one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's lingering yeah. in the air. Geese, what do you think of it? I think he said it all, hasn't he, really? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's quite disappointing, not what I had in mind. I think he's, he's not captured me at all. I'm far more, far more handsome than that, which I think is true. Because um, that looks like a beast. Oh, well, thank you so much, <laughs> Luke. <laughs> and it's been a super big pleasure meeting you today, Geese. And thanks for bringing Luke along as well. Oh, you're very welcome anytime. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out loads more VO Pets and all of our other videos on the BBC Earth Kids channel. <laughs>